August 31st, going into the early morning hours, um, there started, um, I, I don't know if it was started as a joke, but um, everybody got awakened and Mr. Saffold began to um, pull down the pants of the boys who were there. Um, they were making comments, um, you know, the kids were kind of laughing about it. Um, and then Mr. Saffold made some additional comments um, that seemed inappropriate to what was going on there with those um, young men. Um, one of the young men, um, as people are prone to do in this day and age, actually had his phone and turned on the camera to his phone and um, video recorded what was going on there. Um, what we eventually saw on um, what was presented um, you know, to law enforcement, to the GBI, was Mr. Saffold pulling down the pants of the young men that were involved. And those would be the ones included in the sexual battery counts 1 through 5. Um, and basically um, taking his hands um, and massaging or rubbing um, their butts. Um, he also um, basically had them pulled on top of him um, while this was going on. Um, they were laying prone on the bed, um, and there were, you know, some some words being said that indicated that this was maybe for the boys, uh, you know, they thought kind of a joking type situation. But for us and adults, <coughs> seeing the video, um, we became um, convinced that it was a sexual type experience for Mr. Saffold. And no one really kind of thought anything of it. No one showed the videotape until October of um, 2013 when it was shown to an employee of the Crawford County School System. And when he saw it, he immediately said, oh my gosh, um, I need to report this. This is very inappropriate. And he did. He reported it to Crawford County. Um, well, to the principal of the high school, and the principal at that point called law enforcement. Law enforcement called the GBI, and the GBI at that point um, got a copy of this video and interviewed all the children involved. Um, 